Yeah. Alright y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Anna Denise and I'm back with another video. Today's the day. They were going to Covenant. They were going to Covenant. Um, as I said in my previous video, I was going to truck driving school. I finished truck driving school. I am going to do a video on my experience with my truck driving school and how that process went but I'm graduated and as you can see the luggage in the back we're about to be gone yeah. for how long? Uh, I mean I can't even lie I don't even know well, we're gonna be we gone. don't even know how long <laughs> we're, we're about gone, to be but... gone <laughs> but we're about to be gone for a while and today is the day we're about to fly out and what time is it? it's 8.20 our flight leaves at 11 o'clock it's 8.20 um, but we're going to try to be at the airport probably about 9 o'clock. Yeah. So, we got everything packed up. Um, and yeah, we're ready. We're ready. We don't know what this experience is going to be like. We've heard so many bad things about Covenant. We've heard some good things about Covenant. But there's only one way to find out, and that's our own experience. So, we're going to find out. The thing is, we're not going into it looking for problems, looking for anything. We're open-minded, and we're ready. Yeah. So, yeah, this vlog is going to be kind of long. Um, it's going to be little clips from our three-day orientation, little clips from the airport and stuff, and some clips from the training process. So, stay tuned and come along with us in our journey. So these are our bags that we pack. <clears throat> it may seem like a lot, but it's two people and we're about to be gone for God knows how long. So definitely can never pack enough. Okay. <clears throat> Airport fits. Alright guys, so we're back. So we just got off our flight, just got dropped off at the new dormitory. Um, and we just got assigned our room. I probably have already inserted the clip of the room. So you guys should have seen that. And if not, you'll be seeing it like after this clip. Um I know there's a lot of talk about how the old dorms are like a band or a trap, but at the new dorms everything's new. It looks very nice. Um, so it was a good experience to come into. We're actually uh, one of the first, well, the first arrivals actually to the new dorms. It's just built yesterday, um, the lady told us. And man, you know, so far it's so great. You know, we'll just keep you guys updated with the process. All right, y'all, so we just got back from Walmart. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what we bought really quick. Just got a couple little snack items because as you guys seen in the video, the room does not have a microwave or a refrigerator. So we just got a couple of snack items that we can eat on that doesn't have to be cold. I know this is supposed to be cold, but I'm about to eat this now. These don't have to be cold, so we decided to give them a try. So I put a creamy Alfredo back of cheese. We got us some cup noodles, some forks, some straws, because they got an ice machine and cups and stuff um then we just got some disinfectant stuff soap wipes toothpaste stuff like that Clorox so we can spray out 
the shower and stuff like that. Gotta get some seasoning. They didn't have sloppy mama, so I had to go with this, which is pretty good because I tried it at home. Go with noodles and this because I need some type of seasoning. Got some cranberry juice. <coughs> and I found these sugar cookie frosted, frosted sugar cookies. And I had to get them. I had to try them. So, and have you guys tried the Pepsi? Peeps. Y'all should try them. My husband loves them. So, he got him some of them. So, yeah, guys. We spent probably about $130 in Walmart. Doesn't seem like a lot of stuff, but... Yeah, we got some flip-flops and stuff like that so we can get in the shower. Even though it's brand new, still want to just protect our feet and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is pretty much what we got from Walmart. All right, guys. So, I wanted to come back on here really quick and show you guys how we rearranged our room. Because if y'all seen... They had the two twin beds, but my husband, <laughs> smarty pants, then came up with an idea. He was like, let's move the beds together. And kind of made the little lockers, our end tables, or nightstands. So yeah, we gonna make it work. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you all that. Yeah, orientation starts at 8 o'clock, but they want us in our seats at 7.45, so technically it starts at 7.45. Probably about 7.40, we'll start walking to the orientation building. Um, they gave us a sheet that kind of tells us what they have planned over the three days. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but says day one, day two, and day three. And it pretty much tells us what we're gonna be doing over the three days. So today it says that we are going to be having breakfast. Already done that. We're gonna check in for orientation. We're gonna do our DOT physical skill tests and onboarding. Then we're gonna have lunch, onboardings to help with file corrections. We're gonna finish testing and work on videos. And then we're gonna do trip planning and map reading. All right, y'all. So I don't even think I told y'all. This is my husband, Jalen. What's up, y'all? And go ahead. Nothing. Y'all just uh, husband this lovely lady right here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So we're on day one of orientation officially. Um, like she probably already said, we got ready. Um, got a little trip planner. We'll see how accurate it is because sometimes. They'll put stuff on paper and then it'll go a different way. So we're going to come back uh, after day one and we're going to have two different experiences since if you're new with no experience, they give you a yellow badge. And if you do have experience, you get a blue one. So I'll come back and update you guys on how what I did and how accurate it was. And then she'll have her own thing to discuss with you guys about how hers was. So they yeah, give you two sides. I was watching some other YouTube videos and I know that um, if you have experience, you go to a whole different class and if you don't have experience, you go to another class. So like he was saying, we'll probably have two different experiences on what we experienced today, but we're ready for whatever. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to introduce my husband because I don't even think I said who he was. Two um, different experiences. He has, how much experience do you have it? So I'm going on three years. So he has three years of experience and I have zero experience straight out of trucking school. So yeah, let's get this experience. But day one, we out. All right guys, so we just made it back to our room after our first day of orientation. Um, we, it's 7.23, we got out of school at, we got out of class at 5 o'clock, but they had lunch, I mean dinner, which was served to us at about 5.30-ish, <clears throat> um, but a little summary of our day. As soon as we got to class, like we said, he separated, he went to his own class with the people with experience, and I went to the people with no experience, 
which is what the yellow badge is. Um, we just went in, filled out a lot of paperwork, and we did our drug test and our um, driving test today, which my driving test went good. Everything went good. Um, I was hearing a lot of people saying that like they go in the bathroom with you for your drug test, and that's absolutely not true. They don't go in the bathroom with you, so I don't even know why people were saying that it's like supervised. I don't know if it used to be or whatever the case is, but it's not. Um, yeah. After our drug test, we went to do our driving test. Went really good, really simple. Just kind of went around the block. It's not a lot of driving. It's really easy and simple. Um, babe, what did you do? Um, so we went over. Uh, I did my driving test like you. Um, so funny because one guy, I think English was his second language, and um, he wasn't able to like hear the instructions well, and he like came to a stop like in the middle of an intersection, and the test was like, "Go! I told you to mm. go!" And it was, it was it was funny. It, it was messed up, but it, it was pretty funny, and um, so that was like the laugh of the day um, that had, you know. What's crazy is during my test, I almost flew out of the window. Really? Because they don't have seatbelts like in the back of the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's and another the thing, girl, too. the light turned yellow, and she pressed the brakes, and <laughs> I just flew all the way to the windshield. Like, yeah. I thought I was over with. And since they don't have, like, seatbelts, I think that's something that Covenant should have fixed, because you come back to the same spot, then you get in the truck, and then... What were you about to say? The uh, test route is maybe like no more than 10 minutes. It's very like it around fed. the block. It was, it was very easy. Um, very easy to pass. No sharp turns, no nothing. Everything is truck friendly. Like the streets might be a little narrow, but it's nothing that like, I would almost say if it was like your first day in a truck, if you was in trucking school, it, it just, yeah. it's so easy. It's like yeah. you really, there's no poles, no nothing. It's just very uh, easy and simple. So I wouldn't worry about that if you guys feel like the test might be hard or you don't want to get disqualified or anything. Okay, so after our driving test, we came back. It was about lunchtime. The only thing I didn't like was that the experience class, their lunch was at 12. Was yeah. yours at 12? Yeah. And mine was at 12.30. So it was like we kind of only had 30 minutes to eat together, which by the time I even came, he had already ate. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> um... For lunch, we had burgers with like potato wedges and um, like soda. They give you like a cup with like a soda machine every time you eat. Um, burger was pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, it was pretty It was good. decent. Like the food really wasn't bad. Like I think they're really stepping it up since they're in a new building. Like they're actually cooking. Because I know I was watching like a lot of, of the other videos about Covenant before they were in the new building and people were saying it was just like sandwiches every day. Or it was, um, for breakfast, it was, like, biscuits with sausage or whatever. But, like, it's actually been, like, a full-blown breakfast, a full-blown lunch. Then, after we got out of school at 5, we had dinner at 5.30. And it was, like, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and string beans, which wasn't bad at all. Of course, it's not gourmet or anything. But to say that it's free, it's... Like, it doesn't taste bad. You know, we read reviews like uh, the paper bag lunches and like the little sandwiches. You could tell that they're really trying to stuff up their game. I'm not saying the food is the best, but like, I'm a picky eater. And like, and he, if you he, hungry, bro, like if you hungry, you gonna eat, you gonna eat the food. It's bro. not even like, if you're hungry, like it yeah, doesn't this, taste bad to be honest. Yeah. After that, we went to Walmart and we got some food and stuff for later tonight to eat like some wings and all that stuff. It doesn't have a microwave or refrigerator in the room, but they have one for us to use until like 10 o'clock. So we're gonna probably go take our shower. It's a bug in here, a gnat. When I was watching other videos of people at Covenant, they were just talking about how many videos and they told the truth. Like it's so many videos you have to do. So today in class, we pretty much just did videos all day. <clears throat> but on the bright side, if you like me, you can skip through all of that stuff. Like, so my baby doesn't have experience, so those videos would actually help her out a lot more, right? Because they are very informative. But yeah. For me, I've been through a lot of trucking jobs. Well, not a lot, but I've been through enough to where like 
I kind of know the answer, so you know you have to get them all right for the most part. You have to have a hundred percent, but it'll be like five questions, three questions, sometimes even one question. It just varies, right? I think the longest one I had was fifteen, but you have to make a hundred percent on them. But you know, you know, it's, it's not bad. I mean, you know, just think of it. Like they give you a Chromebook to do it on, or you could do it on your phone. You know, you could do either or. But I mean, you know, it's just, it's really not bad. You know, it's it's what you would expect at orientation. Right. We were also told that like we wouldn't be reimbursed for the hazmat because I wouldn't got my hazmat and all that stuff. But today they took the receipt and they said they were gonna reimburse me on my first check. So yeah. that's good. Um, but honestly, so far so freaking good. Like I'm feeling really good about it. I mean. Friendly staff, good vibes. Very friendly, very friendly. Um, Everybody is no willing to help. No weird energies. Yes. Seem like everybody here to make money. Yeah. You know, so, you know, that's a good, that's good company. So. Um, the classes are pretty packed. The classes are pretty packed. Yeah. Like I said, this is only day one. Tomorrow, based on his backing test. So, we definitely will tell you guys and keep you guys posted about that. And what's like the. Oh yeah. Also too. Maneuvers they're gonna want you guys learn also whenever you're out there do not have your phone you will get sent home for having your phone whenever you're near a truck or on the range on the hill they do not play it out i promise you probably about to go take our shower and all of that stuff so we'll probably see you guys in the morning on day two we're out good morning y'all it's day two. Ah, it's day two. Feeling good. Just woke up. Um, got myself together. It is 6.43. Breakfast started at 6.30, so we are running a little bit late. But I think it lasts too long. What, breakfast? breakfast? I think probably to maybe around class time, so maybe like 7.30. Mm, so breakfast is actually <coughs> so breakfast is six thirty to seven thirty. Oh, so I'm right. Yes. So even though it started six thirty, we usually like to get in there early because the line actually gets pretty long. It lasts to seven thirty, so we have plenty of time, and that'll give us time to just go straight to the dorms. Because yesterday we waited until seven forty-five to go to the class when it really starts at eight. And when we walked in at 7.45, like, everybody's in class except me, so <laughs> probably need to be there at, like, 7.30 today. So, yeah, on today's day two orientation, the schedule is breakfast, and then we're going to be doing, they're going to be returning our medical cards, and we're going to be doing onboarding still because I still have a couple more onboarding videos to do. Jalen finished all of his. He's an overachiever. But we have until today to finish them. Um, we're also going to... Hmm? <coughs> I think... Um, well, I know she told us in our class they wanted us to be done with them by today. Okay. She said that, of course, we have until Wednesday, but there's really no reason why you wouldn't have them done today. You literally have hours and hours to just watch videos. Um, and then we're doing the drop and hook class today. So we'll be learning about drop and hook and pre-trip. And then we have lunch. Then we have our onboarding videos again. And then again, we're doing trip planning and map rating. And the day will be over with. We'll have dinner and we'll be out of school so it seems like a pretty easy day just super boring that's really all i can say i wanted to fall asleep so bad in the class yesterday but you gotta stay up so you can get those videos done so yeah guys it's day two and that means tomorrow's day three and we'll be getting our old truck i'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to get our truck or or they're going to put us in immediately day three, which is Wednesday, because I know that a new class starts every Wednesday and Monday. So every Monday and Wednesday, a new orientation class starts. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Like, 
as far as like when the new class come tomorrow, are we gonna be moved out of this room and moved into the hotel? Because when I was watching other people's videos, I was seeing that when they got done with orientation, they were moved to a different hotel. So I'm not really even sure of the process, but I would definitely keep you guys informed. And yes, I'll see you guys later today after orientation. What's up, y'all? We just finished our second day at Covenant Orientation. Um, it was a lot better than the first day. So the second day, all we really did was um, kind of finish off the videos from uh, the day before. Uh, I did my back in today and it was easy. All you do is set up for a 45 degree back and just don't hit nothing and you pass. I also did the uh, pre-trip, which you got to go around the pre-trip to truck. It's not going to be as in uh, as hard as like, you know, when you're trying to get your CDL, but and you're going to be getting a new truck and they just want to make sure that you will be able to catch anything that might be wrong with the truck so that way you don't get a violation when you get pulled over for a DOT inspection. You know, you want to make sure you have your insurance cards, make sure your license plate is good, making sure that the trailer is uh, good and the inspection is up on that. You got to get that annually. It's going to be like a sticker on the back of the trailer. So yeah, guys, like you were saying, today in class is actually way better than yesterday. Yesterday was so boring. Today, we actually got a little bit more hands-on because in my class, um, after I finished all my videos, we went outside to do drop and hook, pre-trip, and we had to do like something called, I don't even know the name of it, but we had to pretty much get in and out of the trailer, which I've never done before. And it was actually kind of difficult because it doesn't really have anything to grab onto, but pretty much you have to have three points of contact no matter what, getting in and out that trailer. And that's something I didn't learn in school. I only learned, you know, the three points of contact, getting out of the truck. So that was pretty cool, learning how to get in and out the trailer and stuff like that. On um, pre-trip, they just pretty much went over with us and just asked us a couple questions. Drop the hook. We went over drop and hook and all the different parts and, you know, how to couple and uncouple. And we all did the landing gear and all that stuff. So, pretty smooth day. It was nice being outside because the weather is so beautiful and nice out here right now. So, that was really nice. Um, after we got out of school, we went to have dinner. Before dinner, we had lunch. Lunch, they had like a grilled chicken wrap, grilled chicken ranch wrap which wasn't bad. Bay didn't like it because he doesn't eat ranch, lettuce, tomato, cheese. He doesn't eat any of that stuff. But luckily we had our own little food items in here from Walmart. So it's always good to keep some items on you in case what they're having here you don't eat. Um, so yeah, back to dinner. After we got out of school, we went to dinner. And for dinner we had a choice of Italian chicken or barbecue chicken. Mm, green beans, macaroni, and what else? Baked baked? Beans. And baked beans. baked beans. So, you pretty much have those choice. They give you the cup, they have a soda machine, you get whatever drink you want out of it. Um, after that, we just went to, we went back to Walmart. Yeah, and what's crazy is like, if you start orientation on Monday, so that second day, you're gonna have a lot of uh, flow of the people that's coming in for orientation starting Wednesday. Yeah, we've been so, seeing a lot of new people, a lot of new faces. And we've been seeing a lot of people who still currently either waiting on a trainer or waiting on a truck. So I'm not sure how long we're going to be waiting. We might not be waiting that long due to the fact that my husband's training me. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> but we just came back from Walmart. Spending all our damn money at Walmart. Yeah. But it's really nothing else to do. No. And I don't even know if I mentioned your girl's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, turning that big two four. Yeah. It's crazy because I'm really going to be here for my birthday, but I'm not tripping too much because I didn't have so many birthday parties, so many birthday events, so many birthday dinners that like I could sacrifice this one birthday to have all these other birthdays that I'm going to be able to really do what I want to do. So I'm not really tripping. I think we're probably just going to go out to eat tomorrow. Yeah. We going out to eat tomorrow, ain't no thing. You know, I'm taking my baby out. Um, Probably about to eat tomorrow, and really, that's about it. I'm not tripping. Really get some rest. Get rested up, because 
any day now after tomorrow we could be getting our truck and be yeah. headed out so it could be that they have just a truck. prepared it could be that they have a truck waiting for us to thursday friday right we could right. be rolling out by this weekend just already hitting the ground running we don't know how it's gonna go i hope it's that way and if it's not it's cool we could start fresh monday probably oh we got to meet some other drivers that are already they said that they've been it was another couple they said they've been working here for four years and we were asking them like how do they like it they said they love it they keep them busy they said that shit they average in twenty five hundred dollars a week and when them checks come in the same household big pressure no facts so as long as you're ready to run they got them loads and that's what i've been hearing from everybody that already working here so as of right now it's 7 15 probably about to go take our shower before it gets so busy because it's a lot of more fake new faces and stuff like that so go ahead and get in the shower relax probably put on a movie and all that stuff i finished all my videos so i'm good with that oh they're tomorrow they're coming into class and they're talking to us about the sd's account which i'm not eligible for because i don't have the experience but i do have my doubles triples tankers and hazmat but i'm not eligible for it because you do have to have some type of experience and there is a waiting list too I'm not sure how long the waiting list is but once i think i get like six months experience six months to a year experience i'll be able to be on the s's account and i keep hearing that the s's account really really pays yeah yeah but, i think um that one you can get up to 79 cent a mile so you gotta think for every mile you're going you're just like 21 cents short of a dollar so, you know, that's that's real good, but right. yeah, I heard it's still good money to make even if you ain't on that coming. Just if you with Covenant and you're just ready to roll, I say, you know, what's the point of just sitting in the truck? I say, go get busy. That's true. Or not, I'm going to come and eat it up. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. All right, guys. So, this is the end of today. We'll see you guys on day three. We out. What's up, y'all? It's our third day orientation. Third day. Also, my day is 24th birthday. Yep, it's your girl's birthday. I'm so blessed and happy to be 24. I couldn't ask for another any other way to be spending my birthday besides, you know, making money and starting new chapters of life. I already celebrated my birthday before I even came here, like two or three times. So I'm not even tripping on even being here for my birthday for real. And plus we wanna go kind of celebrate a little bit tonight. So yeah last day of orientation um pretty much probably just finishing the paperwork today and stuff like that but we're running super late for breakfast they're about to close it out so we're going to try to go get some breakfast so we're not hungry all day so yeah like i said last day not sure how long we're going to be waiting on the truck but this is probably going to be our last day for this video and we're going to do a whole nother video for our waiting period for our truck and our training process so yeah, we'll come back, we're gonna talk about the wrap up of day three, what to expect, and then that'll kind of conclude our orientation journey. So stay tuned. Day three. All right, y'all, we're back after a long, exhausting day. Um, day three orientation was really, it went really well. <clears throat> we are still currently waiting on our driver IDs. And before we can get assigned our truck, we have to have our driver IDs, which probably will come back tomorrow morning. So today we finished up orientation. We went over our benefits, our direct deposit. Um, we also went over safety procedures and different things. Um, Got a chance to talk to some fleet managers about asking questions about like certain routes they have, certain lanes, um, what not to do, uh, how to communicate, what you want, and stuff like that. And, you know, it was cool. It was cool stuff that you would know, that you would need to know whenever you get your truck, because it's the last day of orientation, pretty much. We also got shirts that say trucker, have the little Covenant, Covenant, Covenant um, logo on it <clears throat> but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video um we're gonna name some of our pros and cons from our little experience over the last four days 
but we're so exhausted. We just came back from out to eat for my birthday today. Um, and to be honest, we've had a great experience, but we're exhausted. Yeah, it will drain you. It will, it will. Just being up, listening to so much information, it's, so, it's only so much information that your brain can really take. And you just wanna just rest your mind. So yeah, we wrote down a couple of pros and a couple of cons that we have. And <clears throat> we're gonna start with the cons first. So, number one con, in my opinion, was long and boring classroom time. They tried their best to make it interesting. Um, today we had played little games to try to like get us engaged and stuff, which was pretty cool. But it's still just a lot of information that you're taking in. It's just boring yeah. due to the fact there's so many videos that you're watching. But that's to be expected. That's orientation in any job you go to. It's like pretty much a working a shift at 8 to 5. It's yeah, and it is very long. You get there at 7.45 in the morning and you don't leave till 5. It's really not no letting you out early. Like mm -hmm. You stay till 5. And it's just a little draining. But it what job is. do you not have to go to orientation for? And you're getting paid to be there. Is it the most pay? No, but you're just sitting there. And they already then invested so much into you by... Either flying you out here or getting you a bus ticket, however way they pay for you to get out here, and they're paying for you to stay. So the least you can do is be alert and just be ready to knock out them videos. <clears throat> Another con would be the Wi-Fi. I'm grateful and I'm thankful that there's Wi-Fi here, but it's kind of slow. And I don't know if at a certain time they try to turn the TVs off or what, but seems about like 11 12 every night it starts to act up but hey it's free wi-fi second con is that the break room only has one microwave so we came into an issue last night where it wasn't an issue but you know we had to heat some stuff up you know it took probably six minutes in total to heat it up and you know a line kind of got built because there's only one microwave, one microwave. So. and that kind of also goes into how there's no microwaves in the room. Another kind is no microwaves, no refrigerators, and no showers are in the room. So, which like he said, which is not a problem, but it is if you have 50 different people that needs to use one microwave. But it's really not an issue. You just gotta take your time and let people take their take turns pretty much. And, you know. Um, For another con, no rooms to accommodate couples. I know that might seem ungrateful considering the fact that we're in a new building and all of that stuff, but I definitely think there should be rooms to accommodate couples because who's, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but who's about to sleep in a separate bed the next significant other? I'm not. I want to sleep next to my bed every night. Like, like I'm not going to sleep in a twin size bed right next to him. So, hey, but you have to make it work for you. Um, we made it work for us by pushing the beds together, and we'll rearrange them back to how they were when we got them, got the room um, when we check out. But you have to make it work for you. But I definitely think that should be something that they do in the future. Have like maybe like a queen size bed for couples and stuff like that. Right, and then the last con that we came up with on the list is that there's really no recreational activities to do. So pretty much you have orientation, you have three meals a day. And then it's back to your room to shower and go to sleep. There's really nothing fun to do. There's nothing. Like, there's beautiful scenery. It's beautiful around here. And I wish it was like a walking trail or something that we could like walk up some of the like mountains. It's, it's so beautiful. There is a gym that we can go to at the original terminal, but I guess the gym is not really recreational in my opinion. It is, but it's not at the same time. I'm thinking about fun things, maybe like a game room. But then if you had a game room, people would tear the shit up and they wouldn't want to leave. Right, right, right. So, um, that's about it on our con list about our state. We're about to get into some of the pros. Number one on the pro list is the fact that we're in new dorms. The new dorms 
kind of in my opinion kind of do look like gel cells but nice clean gel cells nice clean very you know a modern gel so yeah with a tv on the wall and some pillows and comfortable beds um but yeah the new dorm is very beautiful especially you know like the um cafeteria area they have sitting areas all throughout the building so that's really nice and for a second pro i would say is the three meals a day you don't miss a meal you don't unless you want to miss a meal uh, it's very organized breakfast lunch dinner so you get your meal get a little drink and it's enough to keep you okay, you know, I mean, we didn't really have a problem with having to uh, buy too much food other than maybe dinner portion could have been bigger, but it's free, so, you know, just and, enjoy it. And I still, like, just being around a lot of people, I hear a lot of people complaining about the food, but it's like, at a certain point, you're never going to be able to satisfy everybody, like, I'm coming from a person who cooks, I cook my ass off, and my husband is picky as hell. It's not that bad. If you don't grab some salt packages or some pepper or some seasoning and put it on, I mean, it might be a little bland or whatever the case is, but it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Why could something be bad if it's free? They don't have it to could be you. It could be bad if well, it's free, right. but don't eat it. Yeah. So another uh, pro that I have on the list is the shuttle system. Okay, it's... um. Not like an Uber where you call it, they're right there, but it gets you to point A to point B. If you need to go to Walmart, there's always a shuttle going to Walmart. You need to go to the airport. You can get to the airport. Uh, they took us to Cracker Barrel tonight. Yeah. It was easy. Sometimes you could put in a special request, and it's at the discretion of whoever's driving the shuttle, right. really. So um, I would just say, you know, this is there. You know, it's better than having an Uber to Walmart for all your needs, right? So. The shuttle is a very big pro, like, to be able to call somebody to come pick you up and you go to Walmart really fast or run in any area that you need to run to, I mean, that's on the list and that's in the area, because they're not just going to run you anywhere, but I think that's a, that's a big pro, because they could definitely tell you, hey, transportation is up to y'all, but they don't. They still make sure you get to Walmart, get to stores, get to anywhere you need to get to that's essential for you just simple communication to people and it'll get handled. The last pro on the list is the family plan. So pretty much family plan is when you know somebody who has a certain amount of experience that's approved by Covenant and Covenant allows them to train you instead of you going out with a trainer and two other trainees. Well, well, yeah. well. So yeah, I think that's a big pro because a lot of companies don't do that. They either want the trainer to go to some type of classes to become a trainer or they just plain out won't do it. Right. So I think it's cool that I'm going to be in my own comfort zone, comfortable with my husband, and I don't have to worry about being with anybody strange that I'm not comfortable with. Another pro is the fact that if you don't have a team member, don't worry about it. They're going to find somebody for you or they're going to put you together with different people and let you meet different people and mingle with different people so you can get to know somebody and pick the person on your own. There's no pressure with you need to find somebody. You just, you're just you able to find somebody. So don't be if that's something that you're afraid of, they would definitely pair you up with somebody. Yeah. But other than that, we have had a great experience with Covenant. I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to start our journey with them. Um, all, we're, all we're waiting on now is our driver IDs and then we'll be waiting on our truck. Yeah. So... Get ready for this batch just like that. And I have a lot of more details about training, but I'm going to make that a whole separate video. Alright, so this is the end of this video of our three-day slash four-day covenant orientation video. Um, if you want to see more videos about covenant and our journey with covenant, please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell, tell us about, if you worked here before, tell us your experience 
or if you plan on working here, plan on coming to Covenant, come in and tell us how it go. So we're out. Before the table, turn, 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 turn.